Hippos fighting tusk to tusk, a duel between Africa's deadliest animals. On the banks of a waterway in Tanzania's Serengeti, heads clash and waters churn as two giants meet in an epic battle. Bearing razor-sharp teeth, these massive creatures lock together in a fight caught on film in this sequence of incredible images by wildlife photographer Sam DeCruz. Africa, as we all know, has some ferocious predators. Lions, leopards, crocodiles, and deadly snakes all spring to mind. However, one of the most dangerous animals on the continent is actually not even a meat eater, but a herbivore. Looking at these hippos in action leaves you in no doubt that these animals are fierce. In fact, hippos are responsible for almost 3,000 human deaths a year. That makes them the deadliest mammal in Africa, apart from people, of course. Here's a closer view of the two combatants. You can really see those powerful neck muscles work. Perhaps due to their rounded shape and relatively stumpy legs, hippos have often been portrayed as rather comical creatures. In this photograph, we get an even closer view of those magnificent teeth as the two hippos lash out. A hippo can open its mouth nearly 180 degrees, and when it closes it again, you wouldn't want to have any part of your body inside of it. An adult female hippo's bite has been shown to have the pressure of 8,100 newtons. When hippos yawn, as the ones pictured here seem to be doing, it isn't a good sign. It doesn't mean that they're likely to lie down for a bit of a nap anytime soon, but rather they are displaying their set of ferocious teeth to their opponent. This angle shows just how bulky those hippo bodies are. These chunky creatures come in third place when it comes to ranking the world's biggest land animals, with only white rhinos and elephants beating them out. Those pointy teeth sticking out like giant thorns from the hippo's mouths are not what we're accustomed to seeing on animals that eat vegetation. The incisors may extend to 1.3 feet in length, while the canines can measure an incredible 1.6 feet. Length and sharpness of the teeth not off-putting enough for you? Then consider this, hippos don't use their front teeth to eat. They just need their rather pronounced lips and molars for that. The lethal daggers at the front of their mouths are there for only one reason, for use in battle, usually against one another. We can totally understand why the hippo on the right is backing away here. We'd be trying to get some distance from that nasty looking maw as well. Heading for the water is normally a good plan for hippos trying to evade an attack, except perhaps when it's against another hippo. Here, the two combatants come to blows again, using their teeth to both attack and defend. Hippos are cantankerous animals that belligerently defend their territory in the case of males and their offspring in the case of females. Another hippo looks on as two fighters bellow and churn up the water around them. Despite their cranky dispositions, hippos tend to live in large groups. For mothers and their young, these schools, as they're called, offer some safety from predators that may attack the calves. The hippos part briefly, but we can be sure it isn't for long. The third hippo still watches, but obviously isn't going to get involved in this bout. Fights between rivals are a common occurrence in the Serengeti, a terrain that even during waterless periods is home to pools big enough for hippos to congregate in. Spray flies as the hippos clash once more. It looks like neither is willing to back down from this confrontation just yet. In general, the scars that mark a hippo's hide are souvenirs from its many fights. As one hippo moves away, we can guess that the other is the victor of this battle. And while we don't know for sure, we imagine that this will not be the last fight for either of them. <laughs> 